another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're watching the vampire diaries this is episode three of season seven hopefully you guys enjoyed the first two episodes man straight away i can tell that something changed with the the camera you know for the first two episodes it's it's like we've uh, we've upgraded we're getting like cinematic shots across the the skylines you know we're getting different intros to the episode last one was like two people going inside Mystic Falls after they was told and compelled by Caroline not to go in because if you do go in you free game to these heretics to come kill you they went in with a night vision it was walking around it was looking all sick they had these cameras thermal ones and then boom you seen it all the sisters that were stood around in the dark ended up attacking I enjoyed it mate I think that it's just giving off good vibes it seems that we're jumping into the future three years from the present when they was first introduced and we um we're getting the current cast being hunted down by somebody else. So in episode one, Stefan woke Damon, who was laying a coffin, um, not too sure how he's got there, and somebody was trying to kill him. You know, they were shooting him with, uh, with like, uh, wooden arrows, uh, I would say. And then, boom, episode two, we ended with Caroline. Someone shot her. Well, someone shot one of her employees and shot her. Now she's working in a television like studio, and she's engaged, and it is too. Not Stefan, sadly. <laughs> That's pretty devastating. I wonder how we get to that. Uh, we did also at the very end get one of the sisters come in, give Caroline a journal saying that, um, you know, this is what one of them, uh, I don't know the names of her sisters yet, so I do apologise, but this is what one of them was looking for. As soon as she came back to town, she went and got Stefan's journal. They read it, her name's in there. It was Stefan, uh, you know, in, um, I, I don't know what date it was, but he was like, Today, I met this girl. She might be the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life or something like that. So maybe Stefan has had a relationship with one of these sisters in the past. And I'm not too sure how he doesn't remember this. Um, but I'm, I'm all for trying to find out because that is so intriguing. I'm trying to figure out which of these sisters is good or bad. Because this girl that was in the book, her name that Stefan wrote about, it kind of looked like she was trying to save Caroline because Caroline had been kidnapped by Enzo by these because she tried to blow all of these up. Now, they had her tied up. She was dangling. One of them had her dangling. And uh, she was torturing her a little bit. Caroline then made a comment about uh, about one of them, one of the dresses that they was wearing to um, to the guy that Damon killed funeral. And, um, you know, she, she, she went mad. She was like, never insult her ever again. Now, this girl that she insulted... Uh, come back, she's wearing a different outfit, Caroline was like, oh cute, she was the one that dropped off this diary later on in the episode, and uh, the sister whose name is in the diary, she come when he wasn't there, and it looked like she was trying to take Caroline down, and she put a spell on her, and, well, and uh, that, this spell, when everyone touched her, it was like a whole body was a vein, nobody could touch her, it was interesting, so at first you was like, oh she's done it so her sisters can't go after her, but then you start wondering why has she actually done this, because Stefan couldn't touch her, and um, you know, Damon, He's, he can't get in his own house. His mum's got the deed. Actually, it was signed over in Matt's name. Uh, Bonnie killed Matt <laughs> at, at his own will. Stopped his heart. Said he can only stop for six minutes before he starts getting damaged. She done the spell. He was like, "You're gonna, you, you, you're gonna take me down for only ten seconds, aren't you?" She's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, sure." You know. So she done the spell, took him down. Then she got possessed because Rick's got this little rock, hasn't it? Pretty much. What he's trying to do is he's trying to bring Joe back. Now, this rock is possessing, like, loads of spirits. Body held it. She's like, this is evil. We can't use this. Literally, you need to destroy it. And he was like, okay, I will do. Well, in that episode, Rick went over to a dead body. He placed a rock onto it. The guy started waking up, and obviously, he, he whipped it off. Now, I'm assuming that because Bonnie touched this rock, um, that some of the stuff may have gone on her because she, she was having those visions. So she started doing that to Matt. She had the vision. She passed out. She woke up. There's, like, five seconds left. She went over. She was like, blah, 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 blah. Matt woke up and he was like, that's a that's a long 10 seconds, Barn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the guy, I thought it was funny anyway. That's where we currently are. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. If you do, please smash a like. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, let's jump into today's episode. <laughs> Tyler, it's Stefan. Have you spoken to Caroline? No. Scar opened up. I don't have much time. I need you to warn Caroline. She's not taking my phone calls. Take care of yourself, Tyler. I'm gonna die with it. Like I say, it's mad the start, so. Lily's hiding in your coffin somewhere. As long as Damon stays out of Mr. <laughs> oh, I think it's really good. I'm actually really hooked. 
You know, clothes would be nice. You know, how long are you planning on crashing here, Damon? You know, you could compel yourself a whole sorority house. Just till we hunt down Lily's little lone wolf heretic and swap him out for my girlfriend. Hi, bon bon. Please tell me I'm not interrupting something. I had another vision. A flash of horrified people with X-shaped wounds on their skin. The stone's gone. I, you know, watched it dissolve in hydrofluoric acid. Who wants to go to Myrtle Beach? Because Lily made a bunch of phone calls that bounced off of cell towers there. Anyone up for an old-fashioned hostage swap? Me and you putting on pants? <laughs> <laughs> Valerie was like a fresh breath of air. Oh, the hell no. Real classy. How are you on my phone right now? Uh, you must have dropped it when you got threshold vacuumed out of here. Keep Damon from killing any more heretics. I will. Lily's only keeping you there to turn me against Damon. Who's Valerie Tull? You wrote about her in your journal. She's one of my new psycho housemates. Mm. Carolyn? Summarize me to a T. Oh. <laughs> Carolyn. Good morning, Stefan. Practicing my driving and saw an opportunity to work on my parallel parking. Tell those spoiled brats living in my house to stop torturing Caroline. Damon and I aren't speaking right now. Apparently, you did both of us a favor when you told me to leave town. Is one of those girls named Valerie? After I turned, I took her under my wing. I sent her to you. Uh, why? This, uh, this is interesting. Your sad mood is spoiling the fun for everyone. I'm Valerie Tell. Stephen Salvatore. The last thing I need to think about is some girl who batted her eyelashes at Stefan. I was the first love of Stefan's life. See, this is interesting. Like, first of all, why would her mum send her there? Unless, you know, she said that she never cared about her family, really, when she left. Um, but she must do. She must have had an intention of possibly turning Stefan at some point. Because she wouldn't send him there, it's random. But I do like it. So we've got a present day, a flashback, and a future we're going through all, all of it. And no problems with me. Hopefully, I just keep up with what's going on. Now, this girl is interesting. Uh, I was saying in the intro, wondering which is the, the worst one out of the three sisters. Now, um, the one that gave her the book, I'm saying that she's the, the, the better one of the three. This one seems like she's trying to help, but she seems like she's got sneaky agendas. Um, and I actually, I'm interested. She's coming to attack Caroline. I just like how it's like, Different fat. Do you know what I mean? Bonnie's writing in the book. We're getting the ba ba bang. Like it's dead loud, and we're getting the flashbacks, and then she's out, and then we come in, and we get the jump, and then Caroline blow. It goes from like slow to fast pace, dead quick. You know what I mean? So I I don't know what that's called, but it's actually something that um it's like a trick. It keeps you it's it keeps the the viewer engaged, and that's how um I don't know if you watch vlogs on YouTube, but the people who go like Jake Paul, for example, I don't watch him, but. He goes slow, fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, and he's like keeping the, the viewer engaged. If they might be losing interest, something happens that quick pace, and you're like back into it. They're doing a great job because every time I'm watching it there and it does something, I'm like, whoa, how's that happened? You know, I'm fully like invested because it's going dead quick. Yes, Stefan, I'm more than the cold hearted snake you and your brother wish me to be. Anyway, I had been invited to travel to Europe. I refused to leave until I knew that my boys were okay. His name was Julian, but you're acting as if that's absurd. Well, your first husband shot and killed his own son. Julian was the man you were not supposed to fall for. For well, the soldiers! The men on the battlefield need us. <laughs> it's a hold still. It'll be delicious, I promise. Mm. Stefan, meet Julian. How wise you must sound to less intelligent man. Word. You're wrinkling my dress, Julian. I have everything under control. I was lying. I heard this story before. When a sweet little orphan girl named Catherine Pierce waltzed into his life. There wasn't a vampire back then. Oh, the she siphoned it. Had was yeah. contained in an amulet. Be siphoned in times of need. The mother was strong and kind. She died when I was ten. There's no shame in missing that. The man on the outside with the heart of a boy. Your chaperone is quite persistent. Then we shall elude him. This way. Ah, oh, the cloaked it. I mean, that's all good. Julian is going to kill me. Compliment the whiteness of his teeth. He'll forget all about it. <laughs> no. It's just that I've never. Do you mind if I. Nah, no, Stefan was her first love as well, definitely. I'm not so clever. This Julian's gonna turn up in there. Well. It was his first time. Right, I've got to say though, from Caroline's perspective, I don't know why she's asked. Like, just, do you know what I mean? Like, this is like 100 years ago, and obviously he's been with people before Caroline, been with her friends. Do you know what I mean? Like, she should. I just wouldn't care about any of that. Literally, I would. I wouldn't. Now, I've got to say, 
that scene was was great. I think they played that out so beautifully. I think she looked so like elegant. I got the piss took out of me right in one of the seasons when I said Stefan's hair. It was the one where um, he lost his memory. I think it was, and um, Elena was trying to get it back, and she jumped on top of the school. And I said, in this season, whichever one that was, can't remember now. This is kind of a worst haircut. My favourite was in the flashbacks. He's got it long and it's combed over. He looks so handsome. Everyone was like, what? The disrespect. Blah, blah, blah. Do you know that? Everyone was going in. I think that that Stefan in 1864, whatever it is, is the best looking Stefan me. I think, I think he looks so good. I, it might just be the olden time clothes because I think she looked great in that dress. And I didn't think that... The sister yesterday, when she come in wearing that dress again that Caroline laughed at, I didn't think it was bad either. Like, I thought that it looked old. I said that, but I thought it looked good. I just think it makes the women look so elegant. Now, I think that that sex scene or whatever you want to call it, if they were just kissing, whatnot, it was great. It was so intimate. It was elegant. It wasn't rushed. It was soft. It was... It, it literally was perfect. I think that was one of the best emotional connection kiss scenes that we've had in the show and um, this person's only just been introduced one heretic in good condition in return for the coffin housing elena b town stones on the magic you shoot him with her vein i any other suggestions of how we can rid bonnie of this mysterious pain she's in rick yeah you folks have the wrong oh <laughs> damon salvatore sorry for hey. come in come in come on <laughs> how interesting is that like... friend with a vervain gun if you holster that, I'm sure would feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, well, your mom was going through a rough patch. She sent me out to find you. My mother abandoned her family and ran for the hills. She, she just wanted to know you were happy, Damon. It's my mom. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Shh. I, I don't know what is going on, right? I, I just... I think it's so different that I'm really liking it. It is so different from the first six seasons that I am really hooked. <laughs> You know what I mean? I, I just think all the, the the locations are just totally brand new and fresh. It's giving me like a new show vibe. I know Elena's not in it and it's kind of strange not seeing her because uh, she was like the main character, one of the main three. But we've literally took the one cast member out and just changed everything about the show. We've got new characters, locations, people, like camera work, fast pace, slow pace. It's just like I'm fully invested. Valerie never told me about your romance. Well, Valerie never told me that you were alive. You told me that you'd forgotten all about me. My mother was practically ripped out of my arms. You don't move on from that. Come with me. I want to show you something. This is my mother's grave. I come here every day to replace the flowers. Still trying to make up for my failure. What do you mean by that? My father sent me to go buy some flowers. I ran to town as fast as I could. But by the time I got home with the flowers, she had been taken to the sanatorium. She died in the TB ward shortly after. What would have happened if I had just been able to run a little faster? That's, so that's proper brutal. It's only good not have saved her. I worked in a sanatorium caring for patients who were just like your mother. Green violets have no medicinal property. Her death is not your fault. I do like that. It's not Stefan's fault. Even if it, he got there late and it could have saved her. I expected you would visit here sooner or later. Sir, if you would just let me explain. We are leaving for New York. And will I see you again? I will find my way back to you. I promise. They left on good terms as well. It was kind of like the notebook, except you two never reconnect and he totally forgets about you. Julian had a way of convincing anyone to do anything. But first of all, I've got to say, is this Julian? Because it's a different character, so he's, he's either died in a new body. And if he's got the ability to make anyone do anything, it's going to be interesting. Because this guy here is quite bubbly. I actually like him. Like, he is a happy... He seems like a carefree, happy dude, but... Obviously, if he can convince anyone to do anything, he's going to be one of those that, on the face, he looks looks nice. On the inside, he is one to watch. And I'm actually intrigued. Now, this girl, uh, she seems to really like Stefan. It is actually very interesting. Like, is she back to, to want Stefan again? And does she, she jealous of Caroline? Is Cal Caroline jealous of her? I don't know. All I know is I'm, I'm liking that backstory. Oh, I took you in as orphans, so I know what's best for you, Vod. No, thank you. Called a number on this card just like that i had a girlfriend and that's what i've discovered here freedom the bad trip inside that prison world has ended my friends were playing with some mystical tools i didn't quite understand and now bonnie's chasing her own white rabbit around the farm siphon the damn visions we won't tell lily that we saw you i'd be loving it if he starts shitting his pants 
Where's the Phoenix Stone? What are you people up to? This beating was about to took the stone. Uh, how is that possible when you destroyed it? Did you know he still had it? A little, kinda. Yeah. Rick, tell her what happened. No, I'm asking you. <laughs> Wait, I'm not gonna be stuck in the middle. No, no, no. No. <laughs> but bringing Joe back matters more. You don't even know what the stone does. We got our second chance. We were on the other side, okay? It doesn't exist anymore. And if there is even a 1% chance that this could work, I need to take it. I'm surprised that he didn't tell her that he actually put it on somebody and he actually begin to wait because, you know, she thinks that it doesn't work and right now all she's got is negative, like, vibes, feelings, relations towards that stone. Now, obviously, he knows it's bad as well, but he could say, you know, she said that they're never coming back, the other side doesn't exist. He could say, well, I put it on somebody and he started to wait. So, I mean, it does something and that's why I couldn't let it go. That's why I actually kept it. You know, I would have threw that out there and see how Bonnie reacted. Make a left here. I'll take this back into town. Valerie wouldn't have hurt you because that would have inadvertently hurt me as well. How about the part where she sent me a telegram saying she was coming back? She'd been gone a few months. That she wanted to run away with me. I wonder if it wasn't her that sent the it. The telegram said to meet her Friday at noon. With every passing footstep, he would turn. But she never showed up. I guess you could say I'm wondering what the hell the whole point was. Eventually, he accepted that he'd been abandoned. How could you do that to him? That was a change of plan. Oh, her personality changed a little bit then. Slipping away before sunrise. Lily will not travel anywhere without her precious little orphans, and it is imperative that I leave today. Do I frighten you? No. Because I can hear your heart beating faster. Both your hearts. Oh, the Stephen Salvatore now that you were pregnant with his child. Nah, nah, I'm not having this so. I, you know what, I want Stefan to be with Caroline, I do. But if there's any chance there's a little Stefan getting knocking around, I, I want that to be in the programme, so I, I need to see it. It would be sick, because this Stefan's kid would be old now, and how good would that be? Now, this guy, then, that Lily dated, the one she's speaking to here, he, he's, he not, he's not part of their crew, is it? Because he was saying if Lily's family, whatever's, didn't get in the boat and then she'd be distraught or something. So he was kind of speaking that he wasn't part of their faction. He was just like a, an add-on. You know, I don't know. But that is so good. Um, she did say it was a change of plan. She's done talking with it. She left the room. She, like I said, personality changed. No wonder me. She's probably devastated. Oh, I'm really, really excited. I do remember you. I was fighting for the South. It's not exactly a time I like to reminisce about in front of my friends. You compelled me to take sick leave. The next day, my entire regiment was slaughtered in Gettysburg. I don't want to be a part of Lily's cavalry. I just want to have fun. A lot of people want the Phoenix Stone. That's with it, you end up dead. Ah, it's got triple teamwork. Never lie to me again. Oh, well, calm there, but like threatening. Aw, my besties are buzzy. Is Valerie here? I heard her leave the house. Forgive me for prying, but I heard your mother died this past spring. I was simply curious about one's ability to heal. Hey, Stefan wrote about you all the time. You can read for yourself. He missed you. Remove the barrier spell, please. As of this moment, Miss Forbes is no longer a prisoner. It's a reward for Stefan's honesty. I don't know what made your heart grow four sizes today. Thanks. Did say money episode has big enough to have the two people. You have the heretics, you have Stefan and Damon. It's big enough to have them both. You don't have to side with one like she's been doing. So that is interesting. You know, she's figuring out. She thinks that these hater, Stefan's telling the truth. He said, mate, he's telling her, I loved you. I always thought about you. And then she's come back and now she's reading stuff. She's like, the guy's actually not lying. I like it. In the present world, came here every day to think. It's strange to be here with you. Finally able to tell you the truth. Oh, this guy. Oh. Julian solved his dilemma by beating his senseless. And the other heartbeat inside me stopped. Regained consciousness, I was on the ship to England. Lily said Julian had found me robbed. And she healed me with her blood. What a dick he is. I drew myself a bath, laced my tea with laudanum, and went quietly to sleep. And by virtue of pure happenstance, I became the first heretic. Well, fascinating. I need to know where this guy is. 
That must be so hard for her though. And him, and listen to her. Oh, she's there. Oh, she's cloaked herself. It's good that. Oh, did she not even tell him? It's not like Joe's spirit is behind a veil that we lift and she magically appears. I want to show you something. I've been paying off the tax to fake the logs. Rick. Look, I know what I'm getting myself into. Please tell me you'll try. It's been a long day. I have little energy for your riddles. 1863. You sent Oscar to check on me. You know, this whole family thing really irked me at first. So you moved on. Well, so did I. Ah, oh, love it. Now, what's interesting with this is Stefan's pretending that he's having a bicker ban like a bickering with Damon. So he's pretending that they fell out. And he's kind of, I wouldn't say worming his way in with his mum, but he's just. You know, he's saying, oh, we're not getting along. And he's just like, she's accepting him a little bit and he's just being open and, and they're kind of bonding. Do you know what I mean? They're bonding a little bit, even though to get to that position, he lied. Now, we're getting it. I wonder if we get a situation where Stefan actually ends up liking her and then the other brother, well, Damon's just Damon, isn't there? Like, he, he looks like he's never going to be on her side, which I find fascinating. You know, you've got one brother currently, is uh doing all nice stuff and getting close to his mom and any other brothers like you're not in my family anymore i'm gonna kill you at your sons um you know if you don't give me what i want see so two different brothers i love it even though stefan is acting and playing he's on damon's side currently it's good though it's really good how did you escape i didn't lily let me go like i was just a kid a troubled boy mourning his dead mom and i remember the exact moment when i first saw you do you remember the first time that you ever saw me? That was totally unfair. Just please forget I have. Valerie's out of the prison world. Does that change anything for you? Of course not. All I care is that you're here and you're safe. <laughs> it is so annoying that. That's sure what Stefan said. Like, why does he care about the part? I mean, he might do. You could be lying, but... Me, personally, if I dated someone 10 years ago, right, and I don't know, they got married uh, and all this stuff or whatever, I just co I couldn't care less, mate, literally. You're not even in my life anymore. And Stefan's is like 150 years ago or something, isn't it? Why does he care about a person that stood him up 150 years ago? Yeah, it's his first love, but, man, the guy's been through so much. He's been with more people. He's living in the present with you, Caroline. He shouldn't be dwelling on the past, and he's just said there he doesn't care, which is right. He's good. You're awake. Oh, here we go. I used to locate a spot. Have you done your duty to the family and found Julian yet? I found him months ago. And you didn't tell Lily? Well, I didn't tell anyone. Eventually, you yeah, have to Julian's location for your freedom from Lily. And you've been good to me. But Julian is the devil. <laughs> oh, that's good. I actually like her. Like, I know, like, I don't know. I think you could watch this, you could be 50 50 with her so far. But, make the guy kill the kid. That's that's it, mate. That's that's all I would need to... I'm on her side in terms of this Julian storyline. Whatever she wants to do to go kill him, I'm on your side, mate. Literally, the guy killed your kid. The guy was an asshole to you. The guy ruined your life. He, he, literally, he's so cocky about it as well when you're watching it in them flashbacks. So whatever you want to do to go after and kill him, I'm on your side there. Literally, I am. Now, in terms of what's going on with Stefan and Caroline and all that, I don't know. I still don't know if you're good or bad, but I am going to be all on your side about killing this guy. I really am. That's going to wrap up today's episode. I'm really enjoying the season, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Thoroughly enjoying it. I just think that the whole dynamic of the show has changed. It's fast-paced. It's going up and down. You know, we're getting, like, slow scenes to really quick, intense ones. We're getting flashbacks. We're getting future jumps. We're getting present. We're getting good storytelling. This is what I enjoyed this episode. It was a storytelling. It was like we was reading a diary. We was, and he was speaking it out and we was portraying the past to get to how we got to the present. Now, Stefan obviously met this girl in back in the day. She wasn't a vampire, so she wasn't like compelling him to fall for her or anything like that. She was actually there at the request of Lily to check out how to uh, make sure that Stefan is living well. But she was never to get too close with this Julian. And he was supposed to go to this location, to the boat, to get on it. Well, she fell for Stefan, uh, he ended up sleeping with her. She promised that she'll come back and find him one day, which she has now in the present, interesting. But this Julian is not happy that she got too close because Lily didn't want to do that. Now, he's obviously in a relationship with Lily and um, it kind of makes you think, I wonder if this Lily is using all these heretics to actually find this Julian. Do you know what I mean? Imagine if, obviously, she does care about them, you can see that. But I wonder if her end goal is to use these to find him. That would be interesting. 
But obviously, we've seen it. She was going to stay. She wanted to go meet Stefan. Uh, she was pregnant. She had his baby. Now, this guy found out, attacked her, he kicked her, killed her, and then made it look like he saved her. Put him on the boat. He was saying to uh, Lily, look, mate, I found her beat up, um, and she fed her her blood. Now, she obviously devastated, woke up, wounded, kid's dead. She couldn't live with it. She tried to kill herself. She did. She succeeded. Luckily for her, obviously, I don't know if it was lucky, actually. She died. She come back alive. She is literally, uh, but I'm just going to call it a heretic. That's it. She was the first one the, um, that transitioned over. Now, she doesn't like the students. She don't want them to be found. This, uh, what did you say? It was Oscar, the one that Damon went to find. He seemed pretty good, to be honest. I did like him. He had a bubbly personality. He, uh, I thought it might have been Julian jumping across into a different body can like Klaus did, but that's not the case. Obviously, he said that he knows his location and he was going to use it. Sorry, he's going to use it as leverage to possibly get out of being in the chain of command from uh, from Lilith. Now, obviously, it is true. They do have a chain of command. She's the big dog, and then there's people who fall in line underneath it. I, I would like to know, because I'm assuming Lily's turned all of these into the heretics. Now, that's the reason why she's top rank, and um, they all fall in line behind her. They see her as a mum. But I want to know if they all actually like that. Do, does that make sense? Like, just because that's happened, are they all happy with the roles that they currently live in? Are they all happy with the chain of command that they got to do everything that she says? If they don't want to do it, you know, they still got to do it because Lily said, you know, she wants to find this Julian. This guy said he's fine. He knew where he was for months, but he's not disclosed uh, the information because obviously he wanted to live, live a little. Now, I'm thinking he's dead. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he's dead and that guy found where his resting place is. And this is the reason why uh, Lila wants to find this stone because she wants to go and resurrect Julian. Now, obviously, this girl here knows how bad he is. She's not going to let that happen. She would be the perfect sidekick for Damon. She actually would. She would be the perfect sidekick. Now, I'm not saying to be getting a relationship or whatnot, but she's against... Technically, she's against Lila, isn't she? No matter what we say... Lily wants Julian, she doesn't want Julian, so she's going against Lily's command. She's killed one of Lily's kids as well, Damon's done that. We see how she's reacting, she's not happy with it. She took, uh, she took um, what is it, uh, uh, Elena, and she took Caroline. Now, obviously, after discussions with Stefan in this episode, um, she kind of gained some feelings towards him a little bit, because he was saying, look, I, I never literally... For forgot about you i always love you i use my mum you got took away from it and yeah nobody can literally just forget about a parent like that and then he stayed true she come back he was there caroline reading a diary stefan's wrote about you all the time you know there's many stories in here how much he loved you she was reading it and she was like look i tell you what you can leave you know um caroline was like i don't know what made your heart grow four times a day but whatever it is thanks and left and it, she said, well, I've done it because Stefan was telling the truth. He's been true to himself. You know, he told her that he did always love her, read the books, read his diaries. He's not lying. The start of the episode, though, Stefan was on the run. He got out of his car, took his diary, set his car on fire, which is interesting. His red car, which is like his pride possession. He's, he's had it for ages, hasn't he? So I'm trying to figure out how we've got to this present. Now, let's just throw a rock in a pond and just say I think Lily might find out that somebody's got possession of this stone and then she might find out that um, Julian where he is and she's going to go on a terror either instructing the other heretics or whatnot to, to, to go on a cycle path to hunt them down to say give it me or you're dead um, but actually, I have no idea this is why it's intriguing because so, like I say, sometimes we watch a show and I'm always like, where is this storyline going? What is the story of the season? And uh, I'm just a bit confused. Yeah, a bit confused, even though I'm enjoying it. That's where I'm at right now. As in, I actually have no idea where the story's going. I physically don't. But the information that I'm getting per episode in the present, it I have no problem with it because it's fully engaging me. It's giving me loads of stuff. So like, I, what I'm physically watching, I'm really enjoying. And these first three episodes, I haven't literally got a bad word to say. I think it's just been information overload, interesting, lots of new vibes. And um, I've actually really loved the first three episodes. Now I'm trying to figure out where and what the main plot is of the season. I've not watched the trailer um, or anything like that. And I'm, I'm trying to guess that it's going to be revolving around now Lilla getting Julian back with obviously Damon and um, 
this girl, terrible with names, getting in the way, infiltrating the different times she gets close every time. And then um, and then obviously we're going to fast forward into the future where she's hunting them down. I could be totally wrong, but that's what I'm getting. Um, now, Caroline, she wasn't with Stefan last episode in the future. Um, so maybe Stefan's with this girl now. She was telling him that she had the baby, X, Y, Z. You know, she's explaining the story about Julian. She had the baby and all that. They was both sat on a bench. Stefan looked over. She wasn't there. I said, oh, she's cloaked it. But actually, it might just be something... Uh, it might just be both of them in the same location at different times. But it was showing that they both still go to the same place. Do you know what I mean? He went there when they first met. He still goes there now. She goes there now. And she went there in the prison world. So, like, they still got some sort of little connection. I don't know. Maybe reading too far into it. I'm, I'm enjoying it anyway. Really liking it. Nothing bad to say. Hopefully, guys are enjoying it because I think it's been great so far. Thanks so much for clicking on my video. If you did like it, please smash a like and a button. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.